हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट इंट्रेंसिक मेजरमेंट इन जेटपेक कंपोज सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड बाय एन एग्जांपल सो हियर आई क्रिएटेड अ फाइल इंट्रेंसिक मेजरमेंट एंड लेट मी क्रिएट अ कंपोजेबल फंक्शन हियर ओके सो क्रिएटेड अ कंपोजेबल फंक्शन लेट मी फर्स्ट राइट सम कोड आफ्टर दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन व्हाई वी हैव टू यूज अ इंट्रेंसिक मेजरमेंट समथिंग सो लेट मी क्रिएट अ समथिंग हियर ओके क्रिएट अ रो जस्ट क्रिएट अ बॉक्स कंपोजेबल है एंड देन प्रोवाइड फॉर मैक्स साइज एंड द कंटेंट अलाइनमेंट टू द सेंटर समथिंग सेंटर हियर एंड क्रिएट अ रो कंपोजेबल फंक्शन हियर प्रोगेव फिल मैक्स वेड फिल मैक्स वेड एंड आल्सो गिव्स लिटिल पैडिंग हॉरिजॉन्टली फ्रॉम लाइक टेन डीपी जस्ट प्रोवाइड पैडिंग and after that create one text uh, suppose text one something and also here provide horizontal arrangement to the space between okay and the second will be your divider and uh, height will be there is a height basically so okay so just provide modified and height will be like suppose 50.dp something and width will be width will be um, something 1.dp okay got it and also provide one text here after that text 2 you know you can think about the output okay what will be the output so let me run this application okay so as you can see so we have a row and inside there's that we have text 1 uh, and a divider and a text 2 that's fine there is no issue with the code okay but i want i want this divider should have the same height same height corresponding to text 1 and text 2 it means this divider should have the same height uh, to the text 1 and text 2 okay suppose if uh, if there is a suppose if i increase some the text of this something okay so here as you can see i increase the text okay i want if we increase the length of this text text one or text to anything okay the height should be equal to okay height should be equal to text one as a text two it should be equal okay so how we can do this okay so here you can see i provided the height 50 dp hard coded i just hard coded the height okay i want i don't want to hard code this uh the height of this divider okay it should automatically get the size of text uh, the length of the text or uh, text of text one or text two something okay so how we can do this okay that is very important so for this we have to use intrinsic measurement for this okay so intrinsic intrinsic measurement is just a uh, you know just a topic but if you want to achieve intrinsic measurement you have to use some modifier in that okay so what i want to say suppose first we have to measure the height of this uh, height of this um, uh, row so suppose if i give here if i provide something fill max uh, height fill max height and when i run this application it will take the whole height basically as you can see it is taking the whole height okay it is taking the whole height that's fine because uh, this is uh, this row is a wrap content okay we don't know the height uh, what is the height of this row so if we pass fill max height it will take the whole width because whole height because um, uh, this uh, row is because we don't know the size height of this row composable function i want it should take the height according to this text or this text okay like it should take the maximum height okay of this text or this text okay so how we can do this okay that is very simple okay so what we have to do here so here you have to call height i want to measure the height of this row so that's why i call the height modifier and call intrinsic size dot mean so when you call this uh, modifier with intrinsic size dot mean it will calculate the maximum uh, height of this row so suppose uh, we have a text we have this text 
and it is taking length of 2 basically so it will the divider will adjust uh, their height according to this text okay because this text has the maximum height basically or maximum length of the text so when i run the application again as you can see when i run the application again so here as you can see the divider divider text takes fill max height but it is it is equal to this text height okay so suppose if i increase the height of this text suppose and when i run the application again see what will happen it take the height it take the maximum height it take the height according to this text okay so this is the main uh, this is the uh, this is the main purpose of using intrinsic intrinsic size dot main okay so this is for the height basically you can do the same for the width property okay suppose uh, suppose this is basically for the row and if you want to provide for the column basically you can do the same for the column okay in that case you have to provide width basically so here we are taking height basically but uh, if you want to do the same for the uh, width so you can here you can provide the width property and in, uh, in the parameter we we'll just provide the intrinsic size dot mean so it will take the basically it will take the whole height uh, the maximum height of this row so this is how we solve the problem and whenever you face any uh, any problem any requirement uh, of this so you can use the intrinsic size dot mean something that will solve your problem so i hope you understand this example why we have to use intrinsic measurement in jetpack compost